Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday to all of my amazing gods in human form. I am talking to my Geminis. Hopefully you all are having a great day today. I know you are because that is the intention you set. Geminis, let's get right into your reading and preparation for this full moon coming up. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Geminis as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality, and where my Geminis need to take action. Let's go. Gemini's, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with all of you who are watching. Yes, Gemini's, people around you are being exposed and it's making you scared, it's making you nervous. Yes, but I need you all to stay focused because this Gibbous Moon is really about all Gibbous Moon is letting you know, hey, you're headed in the right direction. That's why it's so important to plant seeds of intention during the new moon phase, that new moon phase. And so things are coming full circle for you. Here we have the world card, which is attached to Saturn, which is not retrograde. We also have the death rebirth card, which is attached to Scorpio. The devil card. Uh-huh. I'll put this on the same thing because the world card is attached to Saturn, which is um, Capricorn and Aquarius is ruling planet, one of Aquarius is ruling planets, so we put those in the same thing. And we have the Seven of Swords. We also have the Full card, which is attached to the planet Uranus, which is Aquarius's other ruling planet. So this is a very scary time for some of you all, very nervous time for some of you all, because so many clear messages are coming through. So this is where I need you to stay focused, like really, really, really stay focused. What you want to do is have a death ceremony for fear, doubt, and an addiction of some sort because things are, this is where you're going to have to really tap into that side of yourself of saying, okay, I see it. I see all the energies around me because you're a mutable sign, Gemini. So the moment things are being exposed as being manipulative, it doesn't matter what form it's in. It could be your mother. It could be your father. It could be your adult kids. And I have to go that close because for some people, their family members, that's a major test that a lot of people fail, right? doesn't matter who it is that's inserting, that's planning that fear. You need to get rid of the fear. So if a person is manipulating you saying, don't do that because it didn't work for me, so it's probably not going to work for you. You either need to sever ties with them or you need to sever ties with telling them your ideas of things that you're going to do moving forward. But I'm seeing people sever ties with devil energy. That's false evidence appearing real, okay? Let's keep it moving, okay? Because you're moving in the right direction. So a lot of you all are coming up with some great ideas and there's a lot of naysayers around you. And whoever the naysayers are, that's what you want to sever ties with, right? Clear messages are coming through. Sometimes for some of you all, it's coming through while you're asleep in your dreams and it's really making you nervous. And so, but this is not the time where you want to be fearful. It's a lot of things that are happening really fast for you. And for some of you all, it could be happening too fast, right? But it's not happening too fast because this is something you've been waiting all your lives for. And so now that it's here, you're nervous. <laughs> you need to get focused, like laser focused. So laser focus meaning you're getting as far away from this type of energy as possible, this dangerous energy, as far away from them as possible. And so in your dream state, your ancestors are telling you to hit, who to get away from. So in the dream state, their face may appear, not with a knife in their hand, stooped down with a hoodie on under the moonlight, but their face may appear. Their name may appear in your spirit. Like, why am I thinking about this person? Like, how come I can't say? Because God is trying to tell you this person is manipulating you. Their energy is very manipulative, right? And so in this place of vulnerability where you're nervous or scared, Gemini, just know that this is where you're going to be feeling also the most protected because that person that you keep seeing their face is having a tower moment. They're going through, they're going through hell right now, right? And so that's why you want to get rid of fear and doubt because that person is really going through, they're going through their tower moment. Here we have the queen of wands. I see things going through you know, um, you, you being victorious over this fear. You have a big heart, you love deep and you love hard, right? And so naturally you don't want to see people going through hell that they created themselves. But remember I said they created it, right? So because they created, they're going to have to go through it. So some of you all are having dreams because you, if you were to actually see it and you were near them, you would reach out to try to help them because that's the heart you have. And so this can be very confusing for some of you all like, hmm, 
they weren't going through anything bad in my dream, that's God protecting you, saying you don't need to see them going through it. Just know that they are, right? Because things are moving along very quickly for you all, very, very quickly. Yeah, I see you all overcoming this fear and feeling like a kid again. Like I said, things are moving very quickly for you all, like like, like blazing, fire, hot. That's in a good way, right? So that same fire, because you're an air sign, that same fire that you have access to, you want to blow torch fear out of the out of the window. Just 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 break up with fear, divorce fear, kill fear, you know, just get rid of it. Because again, God knows that you're in a very vulnerable space right now, Gemini. So you're highly protected, but those faces and names that keep coming across your vision, they're going through it. They are really, really going through a rough time, right? And so instead, here's a healthy outlet for you. And this is, I'm talking to men and women, Gemini, connect with your passion. See, this is connect with your womb, but it's really your passion, whatever it is you're passionate about. So I don't want the men to think I'm not talking to them because I don't have a womb, right? This is really connecting with whatever you're passionate about. So if you've been thinking about, matter of fact, the Gibbous Moon is really about starting new projects. If you've been thinking about starting a new project because the seeds you planted during the new moon, those are already harvesting. They're already happening. All the good stuff that you've been planning, it's already coming to fruition. So this is now is a perfect time for you to go ahead and start a new project. Because you already know the things, the seeds you planted, they're already they're, they're happening. It's already happening. So don't let this fear, because this is carnal, right? This is your flesh. So this is also keeping you balanced out, too, because so that you're not arrogant. Keeping you in that space of humility, like God has you right where God wants you, which is completely depending on God. So God is saying, connect with your passion, right? I got this covered. I got all that other stuff covered. So what you're seeing in your dream, I'm just showing you the faces and the names of people that are going through the karma that they created, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Geminis. I will see you all again on Saturday probably because Saturday is a full moon, okay? Have a great week, but you're headed in the right direction, so there's no need for you to be fearful, okay? Bye.